Hello, everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communication. This satellite communication is especially designed for the fourth year, second semester EC students. So before getting into the satellite communications, we need to have a prerequisite uh, or the basic knowledge on analog and digital communications. And in this satellite communications, we are going to see what are the course objectives, course outcomes, and how many units are there and what does an each unit contains. Okay. So let's uh, get into the course objective. So this course objectives uh, is to acquire the foundation or the basic knowledge on what are these orbits and orbital mechanics and what are the different types of launch vehicles which are used for satellites. Okay. And also it is used for providing basic knowledge on link design of satellites and to understand a multiple access system and the earth station or the ground station technologies okay what are these earth stations and ground stations we are going to learn in the coming chapters and to mainly understand the concept of how the satellite navigation and gps works okay so based on all these we can estimate few course outcomes so upon completion of this course the any student can be able to understand the basic concept of uh, satellite communication with respect to frequency allocations as well as the orbits, orbital mechanisms and the launch vehicles used for the satellite communication. Along with this, the students can also have a knowledge on satellite subsystem and designing of several satellites and and the coming further chapters, you know, the students will be able to understand the variable multiple axis techniques used for satellite communications and earth station technologies as well which are used for communicating with the satellites and they can also know the basic concept based on several orbital satellite stations or the orbital uh, satellite systems uh, known as leo geo mio and also they can have a basic knowledge on satellite navigation and so on the whole we have got around uh, five units so mostly all the units we can get it from the textbooks uh, of the satellite communications which are prescribed in the syllabus okay so the textbooks or the reference books are very much useful for the completion of this syllabus and this subject is especially very very interesting for the final year students okay and also those who want to get or uh, uh, acquire some uh, further higher educations into these technologies okay so coming to the unit one. So coming to the unit one, the unit one starts with an introduction origin of satellite communication and we can also know the historical background and basic concept of satellite communication. Along with the basic concepts, we are also going to see the frequency allocation of satellites and its application, how they are applied for the future trends communication. And along with that, we can also see several topics based on orbit. What is an orbit, how they are related to satellites and how these orbital mechanical works. What are the different types of launchers used for launching a satellite into space? Okay. All these are going, we are going to see in the unit one. Okay. Coming to the unit two, this unit two is related to satellite subsystem. So this satellite subsystem, uh, This satellite subsystem covers several topics like attitude and orbit control system, telemetry, tracking, command, monitoring, and different power system. How the uh, how these particular satellites will acquire power? Okay, all these things will be uh, discussed in this unit too. And mainly, it also focuses on satellite antennas as well as communication subsystem and the space qualification as well. Okay. So mostly the unit two talks about the huge block diagrams, how these satellite communication work, what are the tracking mechanisms, telemetry, what are the antennas used for them and what are the communication subsystems and the, how the power is generated and how the power is used um, by that particular satellite systems. Okay. And coming to the unit three. So this unit three is completely based on the uh, communication like uh, satellite link design okay uh, it covers like uh, design of uplinks as well as downlinks design of satellite links for several systems 
okay and also they will also discuss on this particular transmission theory and different ratios as well along with that we have few axes which are used for this communication purpose like frequency division multiple axis which we call it as fdma okay intermodulation c by n calculation time division multiplexing okay um like tdma dama co division multiplexing which we are calling it as cdma and spectrum transmission and reception all these things related to communication we are going to see it in the unit 3 okay and coming to the fourth unit fourth unit is very very short but it is also very important uh, parallelly and we, in the fourth unit we can see the earth station technology earth station technology or the ground station is nothing but the uh, stations or the huge offices which are having uh, bigger antennas which are used to transmit or receive information with respect to the satellite or to communicate with the satellite right okay so how this technology is used in the earth stations or ground station to communicate with the satellites we are going to see for a part of this uh, we are going to have an introduction and we are going to have a knowledge on transmitters receivers different types of antennas used and how we are going to track that particular gps using tracking system and we can also see several power test methods as well and coming to the last unit that is fifth unit we are going to see low earth orbit and geostationary uh, satellite systems and in this we are going to see the satellites or the orbits which are very very near to the earth and the satellites or the orbits which are very very far away from the earth in this we are going to see the orbit considerations and how the satellites uh, work for coverage and frequency consideration what is the delay and throughput considerations how these systems are considered and there will be several constellation designs and as a part of it it contains satellite navigation and global positioning system which we generally call it as gps okay for this we will be covering several topics such as radio and satellite navigation gps positioning and local principles and we already know gps receivers and cords okay we can also go through the satellite signal acquisition gps navigation gps signal levels gps receiver operation okay and we can also see differential gps okay so almost the fifth unit covers the orbit or the satellites which are very very near to the earth and which are far away from the earth and what are the frequencies and what are the considerations for the communication between the satellite and the earth station are discussed in here so almost uh, you can get uh, a good amount of information from the textbook called satellite communication by timothy pratt okay so this is a, a publication of the textbook we can go through for a basic knowledge or the overview of this particular all units okay